first of all, it's a great day. It's a great day, great day for Southern Illinois, uh, you know, to have the opportunity to, you know, we're adding soccer and, and getting the quality of person uh, that we're getting. Uh, Grant is a, a young man, Grant Williams is a young man that uh, graduated from Western Kentucky and then went to, uh, and coached, then went to Eastern Illinois and coached, and then has presently been at Evansville. Uh, everywhere he's coached, uh, he's been a part of very successful programs, and I think we know about Evansville soccer. Uh, he's well known uh, throughout the Midwest as a great recruiter, and uh, I always say you're only as good as your players, and you gotta be able to recruit great players, and he's certainly known for that. Uh, his uh, assistant coach, which I can't say a whole lot about right now, uh, but is a superstar, and that's even, you know, you're, you know, you surround yourself with good people. Uh, that's another thing that's very good. But, uh, you know, I, I, I picked up and uh, he interviewed, and uh, I, I wasn't here at the time, and I said, uh, a lot like how I do it, I jump in the car and drove it to Evansville. And uh, we spent, what, Grant, about two hours, and uh, busy a little bit, talked about a plan. Uh, we've developed a plan already, and uh, taking a look at what we're going to do. Uh, but it was a great two hours, and uh, I knew when I left that uh, we had our soccer coach. And uh, sometimes you got to get one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if I have a gift, and there's not many, is that I know people, I can read people, and uh, I can recruit good people, and I've got a good background of that. So uh, with that, I shouldn't be doing the talking. I'm going to introduce our soccer coach, our first soccer coach, and uh, I know he's going to do a great job. You know, how many people get a chance to build a program from scratch? And uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him. Uh, your new soccer coach, Grant Williams. I, um, I don't know I've been called a young man in quite a while, so Coach, I appreciate that. I, uh, I also think it's fitting that uh, Coach Kill actually gets to bring real football to Carbondale, um, given where his background is. Um, Not a good start. <laughs> I couldn't be happier to be here in the excitement from the first moment that I came to campus to interview anybody that I talked to about Saluki Athletics and the opportunity here. Um, was pervasive in the conversations. You know, obviously as a coach, you start to just look at what are the black and white metrics of the job. Is it a good fit? Um, and then when you go to a place, you can really start to see yourself there and, and can you be successful with the people who are around you? And that was what tipped it past for me about could this be a successful endeavor? Could I put myself in a position to, to lay roots down? Um, and make a program successful. And then the other parts of it as far as the opportunity to, to build a program from day one um, is a once in a lifetime opportunity and something that uh, I am fully aware of. And obviously the faith of the chancellor and Jerry and anybody that had an opportunity to sit down with me in the interview process, I think that um, I was able to convey uh, a sincere and honest approach to the way that I see the game and, and how you build a team and, and what you need to be successful uh, at the very basic level. Um, and I'm glad that I was able to find the support here for, for what we're going to do from the, the, you know, the ground running and day one. Um, there's already infrastructure in place to make a truly remarkable student athlete experience from an academic standpoint and then the commitment that the university is showing to add women's soccer and give us the opportunity to to make noise in the valley um, has just continued to reaffirm that this was the right decision for me and my family and, and we couldn't be happier about the opportunity to come here anytime as an assistant coach you obviously see yourself as what's it going to be like when you're a head coach and is What's that going to look like? I don't know that I could have written a better script for what Saluki Athletics and being in Carbondale from a location standpoint to natural recruiting opportunities 
um, again to the infrastructure that the school has in place academically and athletically um, and then just where is my comfort zone where am I going to have an opportunity to take the strengths that I bring to the game as a coach and implement them in a way that's going to allow our student athletes to be successful and, and that without a doubt um, again I, I don't know that I could have written a better better opportunity for myself um, you know you don't get here by yourself it's certainly been a long a long journey and you catch some breaks um, along the way. Um, obviously the support of my athletic director at Evansville and my head coach Krista McKendry um, and their support and recognizing that what a good opportunity and, and them putting me in front of decision makers. Um, Jason Idell, Western Kentucky gave me my first opportunity but then you know my best teammate, my wife, um, we've been married for almost 19 years and when I first met I did have long hair and rode a motorcycle exclusively and she didn't necessarily feel that I was a very responsible person. I was like, hey, you need to come see me coach. I don't know that when we started that journey together that this is where she would envision me and, and I don't know at that time that, uh, that I did either, but I could not be more happy for what this opportunity means for me and my family, what this opportunity means for the university and Saluki Athletics, and uh, I can't wait to hit the ground running. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to take questions. Uh, members of the media, you can raise your hand, identify yourself, and ask questions of uh, Coach Williams, Coach Kill. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Yes. Oh, oh Coach, uh, <laughs> Maddie Sadler, I'm with Channel 3 here in Southern Illinois. Um, with your experience and, and working at Evansville and just your knowledge of the Valley, I guess this is for both of you, but how did, I mean, did that affect your decision and how did that kind of influence bringing well, for, for, for me, yes. I mean, it was one of the things that, in particular, when you're starting a program, there's going to be a lot of unknowns. You're obviously, your roster is probably going to be quite young. So, you know, um, while at Evansville, we finished first or second four out of the last six years. We did three tournament finals and then went to NCAA tournament in 2015. Um, my knowledge of just the geography of where do we train, where do we stay, what are the, the surface like, I thought would be um, invaluable to a new young team as they are trying to just find their way um, in the league and then my knowledge of what the level of the league is um, and what the strengths and weaknesses are those programs I thought would just be a natural fit for me as I, as I pursued this opportunity. I, thought, I think when you hire somebody and uh, you got to think uh, where you fit and I think uh, coach said it best. You know, and when I look at people and the background he has, he has a, he's a perfect fit. And, uh, you know, uh, if you put me, for instance, I went to Rutgers, that was a perfect fit. And I'm a Midwest guy, and you get away from your recruiting ties. And I learned that from Bruce Weber when he was here. And uh, so being in the region, knowing the conference, being successful in the conference, it meant a lot in his hire, but more importantly, we recruited a good person, and uh, that's more important to me than anything. Yeah. Uh, Coach Todd Afferman with the Southern Illinois, and how difficult you know, would it, will it be to, to build a program that can compete in the Valley in just two recruiting classes? Um, you know, that, that's probably the most, even from my friends, um, that's probably the, the question that I get most often. Um, it's certainly going to be a challenge in particular with the accelerated rate that women's soccer and the recruiting cycle goes. Um, but I think that I'm in a really good position for a couple of reasons. Um, primarily name recognition. Um, all of the coaches that I'm going to be contacting, have uh, most of them I've had at least 10 plus years, so they recognize that there's not going to be a lot of unknown about the experience that the players that they would potentially be sending to, to Southern Illinois, what that would be. Uh, we're also going to be in a really good position from a recruiting standpoint. Um, there's a, a lot of team, a lot of programs have already moved on from their 2019 class. They're already expended all the budget they have athletically um, for scholarships. So I think we're really in a driver's seat for kids that either fall out of the process, maybe they've gone to or committed to a program where the coach has left. 
um, for whatever reason they find themselves in a position where they're still looking, I just feel like we're going to be in a, in a really strong position when kids are trying to find best fit for them. Not that the financial piece is going to be the primary mover, but anybody that's involved in, in Division One athletics knows, in particular on the soccer side, um, that's always a question that comes up when you sit down with mom and dad and, and how you, you pay for college. But uh, those are going to be two real strong things. It's certainly not going to be an issue of numbers. I could put a sign-up sheet on the outside of the arena today, and I think we probably have 50 kids want to come play here. It really is going to be how, how can I see kids that are going to be potential differ, differ, difference makers um, from day one when they get here. Yep. You talked about the infrastructure, you know, the locker room may not be done yet, but what did you see in the kind of the bones of the program that made it think you could see a successful program here? Um, the, the proximity of everything, so when you just look at where are you going to play, where are you going to practice, I mean, that for us, that will be primarily one and the same. Um, locker rooms within walking distances on campus, um, all of those logistical things. Um, make it a no-brainer, um, you know, in, in, in that regard. So, you know, I, that was a real easy one as you started to just walk around campus and, and what's the student athlete experience going to be like um, for a women's soccer player here at Southern, it's going to be a very good one. Yeah. Jerry, are you able to update us on how the locker room is coming along? Or, or have you addressed that at all yet since you've been here? I've been here 10 days. I got a milled already. <laughs> you know, is that... Uh, you know, things, you know, you talk to Coach about two years from now. Uh, I was forced to be the associate AD at K-State when they implemented soccer. So I got a pretty good idea. Things don't, just don't happen in two years. It's going to take, you know, a little bit of time to, you know, get the type of player and, and some of the things we're doing. Now, if he does that, uh, I'll talk to Chancellor and we'll give him a raise and keep him here. If he can do that thing in two years, but that, that's not easy. Uh, and then the second half of that, that question is that, uh, I'll just be honest with you and be honest with, you know, with the coach, there, were, there wasn't a plan. We had to create a plan and we've been done it in five days. So uh, uh, we've got a good plan where we're at now and, uh, and we've got a good plan where we're going. And uh, that plan is getting pushed. Uh, not if anybody knows me, uh, I've worn the carpet out down to see Mark. I've been over Chancellor's area, and, and uh, you know I've, I've pushed the carpet over there. And uh, we know we need to move as fast as we can, but we don't want to do anything, you know, halfway. We're going to do everything we do here the best, and the best of what we have to work with. So uh, we're moving along. We have been over to uh, Mr. Dillard and, and uh, got plans, and uh, we'll move as fast as we can. But in the meantime. I think Coach feels pretty good about the setup we have and uh, to go to work quickly uh, for recruiting. Coach, how would you describe your style? Um, how, you have, how you want to play? Possession-oriented. Um, a 4-3-3 is probably the system that I've had the most experience and success playing, but obviously players and opponent, those kind of things dictate that. But um, just recognizing that, in particular, with being the proximity to St. Louis and the kinds of soccer players that St. Louis produces, those are possession-type players. And obviously, if I can have the ball and the other team doesn't, it makes it pretty difficult to get beat. So um, possession-oriented, for sure. <laughs> Turf, and also the second part of that is when you're looking at playing services, um, turf does not lend itself very well for a direct game. The ball is out of bounds more often than not, so your ability to keep the ball is, is instrumental. Coach Matt Barney, uh, Sports. What would you say is your focus in recruiting first? For me, it's got to be a kid that identifies with Southern Illinois and, and wants to be part of what's a historic opportunity. Um, I think that those little big differences, they'll be good enough soccer players and they'll be good enough athletes, but the things that you ask of a student athlete and demands of their time, effort, energy, blood, sweat, and tears, you've got to find the kid that really identifies with your school and has some pride in the color that they wear and, and the name that's on the front of their shirt and, and not necessarily what's on the back. Um, that's what's going to really make a difference for us here. Any 
Any more questions? Okay, we have one more item on the agenda. Let's get Coach Kill, Coach Williams, come on over. We're going to do a little photo shoot. We, uh, we actually have an Under Armour soccer ball. Let's get you together and get our photographers over here. Go ahead and pose it. See if you can get the, we'll see if you can get the background. How about a round of applause for our new soccer player?